Hello again, my beautiful yoga friends. Welcome to this 50 minute warrior flow. So it's quite a strong demanding practice. Of course, plenty of warriors, warrior variations, positions in there, and also plenty of chaturangas. So if you ever feel like taking a break, you can either skip a vinyasa or go to child's pose. If you want to listen to music during the class, you can find the link to my Spotify playlist down below in the description box. If you want to support me, please give this video a like, share it with your friends. You can also subscribe to my channel here on YouTube or follow me on Instagram. If you want to support me financially, you can find the link to my PayPal down below and you can leave a donation there. I will see you on the mat. Enjoy. For our practice today, you don't need any props. We begin the class in child's pose. So come to the back of the mat, bring the big toes together, open the knees, mat width distance. Bring your hands forward, spread your fingers wide apart, sink the hips to the heels and rest the forehead on the ground. Settle into the posture, settle into stillness. Beginning to tune in with your breath. And then begin deepening, lengthening your breath. For long inhalations. Slow, controlled exhalations. Find your rhythm of breath. Find your ujjayi breathing. Take two more breaths here. And on your next inhale, lift yourself up to come into tabletop. Inhale, tilt your pelvis forward, arch the spine, chest forward, gaze forward. Exhale, tilt the pelvis back, draw the belly in, round the spine. Inhale to arch. Exhale to round. Continue flowing through cat and cow in your own rhythm of breath. Feel free to close your eyes again to really bring your awareness inside, connecting your breath and your movement. One more round. And then come back into a neutral spine. Come up onto the knees. We're going into gate pose. Open your left leg out to the side. Place the left hand with palm facing up onto the left thigh. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, go into the side stretch. Every inhale you find more length. Every exhale, you go a little deeper. Inhale, center. Exhale, release and change sides. Right foot out to the side. Right palm faces up. Inhale, left hand up. Exhale, side stretch. Maintain a stable foundation through your legs and your lower core, opening the upper body. Inhale, center. Exhale, release. Go again, left leg out. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, lean to the side. Try to push the right side of the hip up. Creating space in your ribcage. Inhale, center. Exhale, release. Once more on the other side. Right foot out. Inhale, left arm reaches high. 
Exhale, go to the side, using your breath, taking long and full breath. Inhale, center. Exhale, release. Plant the hands forward, tuck the toes, push the hips up, come into a downward facing dog and feel free to move around here. Waking up the body, back of the legs, finding any movement that feels good to you. Eventually arrive in stillness, long straight spine, heels reach towards the ground. Inhale, right foot up, point the foot. Exhale, tap the toes. Inhale, up. Exhale, tap. Once more, inhale. Exhale. This time, inhale, up. Exhale, step the right foot forward. Inhale, high lunge, arms up. Exhale, sit deep. Inhale, arch back. Exhale, lean forward, airplane arms. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, airplane. Once more like this. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, connect the shoulder blades at the back. Inhale, coming up. This time, exhale, hands to the ground. Step back, plank pose. Inhale here. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra, maybe baby cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold here. Deep breath. Inhale, pick the left foot up. Pointing the foot, exhale, tap the toes, inhale, up, exhale, tap, last one, inhale, exhale, this time, inhale, up, and exhale, step the foot forward, inhale, come into high lunge, exhale, sit deeper, strong legs, inhale, arch back, Exhale, lean forward, airplane arms. Inhale, arching back, opening the chest. Exhale, forward. Once more like this. Inhale. Exhale. This time, inhale, come up again. And exhale, release the hands down, come to plank. Inhale here, exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra, lift higher now. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana, hold here. Look forward. Take as many steps as you want to reach the front, feet come together. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold all the way down, press the hands down. Inhale, come up to standing, arms up, look up. And exhale, you release, Tadasana. Flow with your breath, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold all the way forward, open the hamstrings. Inhale, lift halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, come up, arms up, look up. Exhale, Tadasana. Find your rhythm, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold deep. 
Inhale, come all the way up, Uddhva Hastasana. Exhale, release, Tadasana. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, half lift. This time, exhale, plant the hand, step back, plank. Inhale here. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Holding here for three. Two. One. And look forward. Big steps to the front. Feet together. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Uddhva Hastasana. Exhale, Tadasana. We go again. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, into plank. Inhale here. Exhale, knees, chest, chin or chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. For three. Two. One. Look forward, step or jump. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, release. One more round like this. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale here. Exhale, lower. Inhale, come through. And exhale, move back. Hold here for three, two, one. Look forward, step or jump. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Changing it up now. Inhale to chair pose. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to plank. Inhale here. Exhale, lower your choice of vinyasa. Inhale to come through. And exhale to move back. Inhale, pick the right foot up. Exhale, step the right foot forward. Back foot 45. Inhale, warrior one, come up. Try to square your hips. Left side of the hip forward, right side back. Keep the back foot grounded. One more inhale. And exhale, you release, plank pose. Inhale here. Flow through your choice of vinyasa. And we meet back in downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot up. Exhale, left foot forward. Right foot, 45 degree angle. Inhale, come up, warrior one. Try to sit deeper into the left leg, still maintaining the connection of the right foot, outside edge of the right foot and the ground. Long straight arms. One more inhale. And exhale, you release. Moving through your vinyasa of choice. So that we meet back in downward facing dog. Remember, you can always skip the vinyasa, go straight into down dog, or even take a break in child's pose. 
listen to your body and listen to your breath. Look forward, step or jump. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale to chair pose. And exhale to standing. Take a moment here. Checking in with your breath. Feeling and observing the effects of the first part of the practice. On your next inhale, reach your arms up, look up. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plank. Inhale here. Exhale, lower. Inhale, come through. Exhale, move back, down dog. Inhale, right foot up. Exhale, right foot forward, left foot down, 90 degree angle now. Inhale, come up, warrior two. Draw your lower core, lower ribs in, lengthen your lower back, pelvis neutral. Inhale, reach the right hand forward and up. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Either slide the left hand down the left leg or go into the bind. Left hand reaching for the right thigh. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle with your right forearm on the right thigh. Left arm long, open the chest, open the left side of the hip. Inhale, up. Exhale, release the hands down, step to plank and flow through your vinyasa of choice. Meeting back in downward facing dog. Taking deep steady breath. Inhale left foot up. Exhale left foot forward. Right foot down 90 degrees. Inhale coming up warrior two. Adjust your feet. Find your stable foundation. Bring your pelvis into neutral position. Inhale, left hand forward and up. Exhale, reverse. Choose your variation of reverse warrior and then hold here, sinking deep into the hips, into the left leg. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Left forearm as your support on the left thigh. Right hand reaching up and over. You want to open the right side of the chest here. Inhale, come back up, warrior two. Exhale, windmill the hands to the ground and flow through your vinyasa of choice. Take your time for these transitions. Don't rush through them. Find your down dog. Hold here. Look forward. Step or jump. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up to standing, arms up, and exhale, release. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Maintain your flow. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands down, step the left foot back, long stance. Inhale, reach the right hand up. Come into an easy twist. Open the chest. Inhale, 
look to the ground now and then mindfully transition up to standing into a high lunge twist. So your right hand reaches back, left hand reaches forward. Your upper body is still twisting to the right. Inhale, center, both arms up. Exhale, open out, warrior two. We're going again into extended side angle, but now try to bring the right hand onto the ground inside of the right foot. Left arm reaching up and over. Use your right upper arm to press the right knee out, deepening the stretching sensations on the inside of the right hip. Inhale, come back up, warrior two. Exhale, windmill the hands down, step to plank and flow through your vinyasa of choice. Meeting back in down dog, taking a few breaths here. Neutralizing in between the two sides. Look forward, step or jump. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale to standing, Udvastasana. Exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Inhale, half lift, Adha Uttanasana. Exhale, plant the hands, step the right foot back. Inhale, left hand reaches up, open at your chest, look up. Find already here a strong, stable foundation through your legs. Look to the ground. Then use an inhale to come up in your high lunge twist. Left hand reaching back, right hand reaching forward. Your lower body doesn't really change much. It's just the upper body. Inhale, center, arms up. Exhale, open it out, readjust your feet, warrior two. And then go into your extended side angle, if possible, left hand on the ground on the inside of the left foot. Right hand reaching forward, open the right side of the chest up, press the left knee out. Inhale, coming back up, warrior two. And exhale, windmill the hands to the ground. Plank pose, vinyasa. Take your time. Downward facing dog, either staying here or if you want, take a break in a child's pose of your choice. You can have the knees together or apart, hands reaching forward, or if you want to fully relax your arms and shoulders, you can also reach the hands back. Checking that you're still breathing in and out of your nose in your deep, steady rhythm. If you were in child's pose, come back into down dog. Inhale, right foot up. Exhale, step the right foot forward, back foot 45. Inhale, come up, warrior one. We've been here before, so see now if you can sink deeper into the front leg. At the same time, try to square your hips. Still maintain the connection of the back foot and the ground. Drop your arms now, interlace the fingers behind your back. Inhale, open the chest, look up. Exhale, fold forward, humble warrior. Either you bring your upper body to the right thigh or you go deeper, bringing the upper body 
inside of the leg closer towards the ground. Try to bring your arms further away from the back to create a deeper stretch for the shoulders. On your next inhale, you come back up, bring the arms up. Exhale, release, plank pose, vinyasa of your choice. Slow, mindful transitions. Meeting in down dog. Holding here. Inhale, left foot up. Exhale, step the foot forward. Back foot 45. Inhale, come up, warrior one. Also here, draw your lower ribs, the lower core in. Keep your lower back long. Inhale here. Exhale, drop your arms. Interlace the fingers. Inhale, reach the hands back. Open the front. And exhale, fold forward. Humble warrior, your variation. Reach your arms away from the back. Make sure the left side of the hip is not going out to the side too much. Try to pull the left side of the hip back. Right side still forward. Outside edge of the right foot still grounded. Inhale, back up, arms up. Exhale, hands down, plank pose. Option for a vinyasa. Or remember, you can skip it and go straight back into Adho Svanasana, downward facing dog. We meet here, hold for a few breaths. Look forward, step or jump. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, come up, Udvahastasana. And exhale, release. We're now going into warrior three. Doing each side once on its own. And then we're going to integrate warrior three into a brief flow. Bring your hands together at your heart. Keep the right foot grounded. And then bring the left foot up and back. At the same time, fold your upper body forward so that upper body and left leg are parallel to the ground. Left side of the hip rotates down. Left foot is flexed. Imagine there is a wall behind you that you want to press the sole of the left foot into. Slowly release. And when you feel ready, you change sides. Left foot stays grounded, right foot comes up. Most importantly, focus on rotating the right side of the hip down so your hips are closed here. Slowly come back out. Release your hands. And we go into our flow again. Inhale, arms go up, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, plank. Inhale here. Exhale, lower. Inhale, come through. Exhale, move back, down dog. Inhale, right foot up. Exhale, step the right foot forward. Inhale, come up, high lunge. 
Exhale, hands to the heart. Maybe shorten your stance and then lift up into warrior three. Find a focus point, transition with mindful awareness. Full focus, full concentration. Slowly come back into high lunge. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, release. Flow through your vinyasa of choice. And then return to downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot up. Exhale, bring the foot forward. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, hands to the heart. Option to shorten your stance first and then lift up into warrior three. Keep the foot flexed. Right side of the hip down, squaring your hips. Long straight spine. Slowly come back out. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, release. Flow through your last vinyasa of this practice. And then return to downward facing dog. Taking a few breaths here. Look forward, step or jump your feet halfway forward outside of the mat. Come onto the fingertips, inhale here. Exhale, hands to the hips. Inhale all the way up. And then turn the heels in, toes out to come into goddess. Sink the hips closer to the ground, slide the hands out towards the knees. And check that you have your knees in line with your ankles. Inhale here. Exhale, twist to the left. Right shoulder goes towards the left inner knee. Inhale, center, straight spine. Exhale, twist to the right. Left shoulder, right inner knee. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Slow movement. Inhale. Exhale, twist. One more on each side. Moving slow with mindful awareness. Stabilizing through the legs. Coming back into the middle. And then straighten your legs. Bring your feet parallel again. Hands to the hips. Inhale here. And exhale, fold all the way forward, release the hands to the ground. Straight spine as you walk the feet onto the mat again. Heels slightly in, toes slightly out, squat down, malasana. Bring the hands together at your heart. Upper arms, press the knees out. Draw your tailbone in and under here as well. Lower back long, whole spine long. Push your chest forward towards the thumbs. Reach your hands forward and with control, sink your pelvis to the ground. Bring the feet together, legs together. Bring the hands behind the thighs, sit upright. Start to lean back so that your feet come up, shins parallel to the ground, Navasana. You can stay here or you can reach the hands forward. If you want to go further, you can straighten out your legs. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, release straight into Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet together, knees out. Interlace the fingers around the feet. Inhale here. Exhale, push your chest down and forward. 
Inhale, finding length. Exhale, go deeper. Use your breath to go deeper bit by bit. Micro movements to come deeper here. When you feel that your spine starts to round, stay where you are. Focus on finding length. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, close your legs. Bring the feet forward, hip width distance. Reach the hands forward and use the strength of your core to slowly roll yourself all the way down onto the back. Bring the hands next to the hips. Straighten the legs out, bring the legs together, flex the feet. Inhale, bring your legs up 90 degree angle. You can either stay here or if you have shoulder stand in your practice, you can also come up into shoulder stand. I personally like to go into plow pose first, but you can enter shoulder stand your way. Try to bring your, try to bring your shoulders, your elbows as far in as possible so that you can have your hands as high up on your back as possible. You can look up or close your eyes, finding stillness here. Focus on taking deep, steady breath, slow, conscious rhythm of breathing, full concentration. Slowly come out, go into Halasana Plow Pose. If your feet are not touching the ground behind your head, keep your hands on your lower back as your support. If your feet easily come to the ground, release the hands onto the mat or interlace the fingers. Try to still lengthen through the spine, push your hips up, don't collapse here in the spine. Prepare yourself to come out, press the hands into the mat to come out of this position slowly with control. Eventually feet come down. You can relax for a moment, maybe turn your head from side to side to release the neck. And if it feels right to you, you can come into Matsyasana fish pose as your counter posture. So bring your hands underneath your hips, elbows in, and lift your chest, open the chest and then release the head down and back. If the crown of the head is not touching the ground, that's totally fine. Lift your chest up, open the throat. Keep your feet flexed, legs strongly engaged. Come out of the posture by sliding your head back, releasing yourself all the way on the back. Taking a little pause here. If you want, you can turn the head side to side again. Eventually, hug your both legs into the chest and come into happy baby. Hands reach for the outside edges of the feet. Stay here in stillness and keep your sacrum on the ground. 
Pull the feet down to open at your inner thighs. Let go of the feet and then straighten the left leg out. Hug the right leg in. Inhale here. Exhale, bring the right leg, the right knee over to the left. Recline twist. Open the right arm out to the side. Your right knee is going into the direction of the ground. If it's not touching the ground, that's totally fine. Take one more inhale here. And then exhale, come back into the center. Hug the left leg in. And then straighten the right leg out. Inhale here. Exhale, twist. Go over to the other side. Still breathing in your conscious rhythm. Feeling the breath in the body, in the twist. Inhale here. Exhale back into the center. Hug your both legs into the chest. Wrap your arms around the legs. Lift your head and nose towards the knees. Become small and round. Take one last deep inhale here. And then exhale, release. Go into Shavasana. Make any last little adjustments to your posture. Then fully arrive in stillness. Your eyes are closed. Your breath is returning back to its natural rhythm. Softly breathing in and out of the nose. Make a conscious effort to relax your whole body, softening all the muscles from the soles of the feet, up the legs, to the hips, torso, hands and arms, your neck and your whole head. Your whole body is heavy and relaxed. All the way from the soles of the feet to the crown of the head, your whole body heavy and relaxed.
Bring your awareness back to your breath now. And take a few deeper breaths. And then start to wake up your body again, beginning at your hands, your feet. Rotating wrists and ankles, turning your head side to side. And then bring the feet together, bring the hands together, reach your arms up over the head. Take a full body stretch here, deep inhale. And exhale, let everything go. Step the feet in, bend your legs. Roll yourself over onto one side. With your eyes remaining closed, come up, find into a comfortable seated posture. Take a few more moments here, feeling the soft rhythm of your breath, feeling the energy in your body, feeling the stillness. Bring your hands together at your heart now. Gently bow the head forward, chin to the chest, and then open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you for joining my beautiful yoga friends. I hope you enjoyed the class. Please let me know in the comments how you're feeling now and also if you have any ideas or requests for any future classes that you would like to see here on my channel. I will see you again next time. Namaste.